Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. When you migrate from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, you can bring your company's info and data with you. Let's go over what to do before you migrate, how to migrate your QuickBooks Desktop info into QuickBooks Online, and how to confirm that everything looks right after the move. Before you migrate, make sure you've researched and signed up for our QuickBooks Online subscription. If you need help finding the right solution, call 800 730-0605 or visit quickbooks.intuit.com. After you've signed up for QuickBooks Online, keep your user ID and password available because you'll need them during the migration process. Next, update to the latest version of QuickBooks. Select Help, Update QuickBooks Desktop, and then Update Now. Then Get Updates. After the update, you should restart QuickBooks and your computer. QuickBooks will let you know if you already have the latest version. If you need to run payroll or pay any payroll taxes, please migrate your payroll data to QuickBooks Online Payroll at least a few days before your next payroll run. That way, you'll have time to set up payroll in QuickBooks Online before those payments are due. Now you're ready to migrate. It's important to remember that even after you copy your company's info to QuickBooks Online, You'll have view-only access to your data in QuickBooks Desktop just as you left it for 12 months after canceling your desktop subscription. Select Company. Migrate this company file to QuickBooks Online. Then select Get Started. You can choose to export all your company data, including your customers, vendors, settings, and transactions, or export specific data. This option is helpful if you have a large file and don't want to bring over every individual transaction. You can choose to migrate all of the information about your customers, vendors, and other lists, along with account balances, or migrate only list information. This option is great if you want to start over without any transactions or balances, but still want to keep the info about the people and products you do business with. It's important to note that no matter which option you select, there are some things that won't migrate to QuickBooks Online. Check out this link to find a complete list of what does and doesn't transfer to QuickBooks Online. Select Continue. QuickBooks asks if you have a QuickBooks Online account. If you set up your account earlier, select Yes, Sign Me In. Then select Continue. Note, this is the account you created when you purchased your QuickBooks Online solution in Step 1, Subscribe to QuickBooks Online. If you have not selected a QuickBooks Online solution, you can select No, I need to create one. This will create a QuickBooks Online Advanced Trial Company. We recommend you go to quickbooks.intuit.com slash accounting to buy the right QuickBooks Online version for your company before starting migration. Select Continue. You'll see your QuickBooks Online company names and subscriptions listed. Select the company to which you want to move your data. If you don't see your QuickBooks Online company name and subscription listed, please call 800-730-0605. If you're creating a new company, confirm your company name, then select Upload. The migration can take a few minutes. After your migration is complete, you can download the QuickBooks Online desktop app. This computer app offers great benefits and eases the transition from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. Benefits include, you can stay signed in for six months unless you sign out manually. You'll have a navigation map similar to what you're familiar with in QuickBooks Desktop. You're able to access multiple QuickBooks Online companies, and you can split screens to work on multiple tasks at the same time. You'll receive an email with instructions on how to access your QuickBooks Online account after the process is complete. In the email, you'll find links to other videos to help you in QuickBooks Online. Once you get that notification, it's a good time to compare your original company information to the data you have in your QuickBooks Online company. Open your profit and loss statement and run it for this year to date. Then switch to QuickBooks Online and run the same report with the same date range. You can do the same thing with your balance sheet, AR, and AP reports, and more to confirm that everything arrived safely. Now you've successfully migrated your QuickBooks desktop data 
to QuickBooks Online.